Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here as always. It is currently about, uh, I'd say like 2.30 in the morning on June 2nd, and that is significant because yesterday we had kind of a, a new wave launched, and when I checked back at about 7 p.m. yesterday on the 1st, I noticed that the uh, the new Captain Rex's Y-Wing microfighter, which a lot of people are excited about, is already on back order because uh, <laughs> y'all people are animals. You went super crazy hard on that, and uh, that retails for twelve ninety nine. You have a limit of three, and right now, if you if you order it on back order, it's going to take sixty days for it to ship out, like two months before they can get that back in stock. Oh no. Um, <laughs> so that got me thinking I wanted to come down and grab my phase two gorgeous Captain Rex figure. Uh, this thing's amazing. And uh, show you the set that he came out of. Uh, speaking of which, this is 75012 Bark Speeder with Sidecar. Uh, this is one of the Clone Wars sets for the animated series. Came out technically in 2012, but it was December 28th, so only a handful of days before 2013. So, you know, whichever year you see, it's still technically correct. I had 226 pieces, and in the United States, it was a Walmart exclusive. You know, sometimes they do that. Uh, you know... I don't know why. Walmart's gonna Walmart. Uh, it retailed for twenty four ninety nine. You can currently get it by itself without the minifigures instructions or the box for about fifteen dollars. Um, incomplete, you know, some pieces missing. Um, if you wanted to get it completed, but no box, the Rex in poor condition. That starts at $140. That's the cheapest one they've got right now. Um, it's If you want it sealed, it starts at $325. And the reason why is uh, this guy by himself, this gorgeous, gorgeous minifigure. This is Captain Rex with cloth shoulder pauldron and cloth commas. And he also has the large eyes kind of cartoony features of the Clone Wars series. This is his Phase 2 armor, and it is a beautiful, beautiful minifigure. He's got dirt stains, he's got all his tallies, printing on the legs, printing on the back. It is so good. And that very expensive figure. And then right next to him, Probably one of the best Obi-Wans they've ever made, even with the cartoony facial features. He goes about $9 in decent condition. So, you know, decent. You can get him for like 5 bucks if you don't mind some scratches and dents. And then uh, next to it you get two Commando Droids, which go for about $2 a piece. They're cool. They got thick thighs. They never skip leg day, which is probably why they're all flipping around everywhere. Um, they're cool, but these two are unique to this set, while the two commando droids come in three sets and a book. Um, the, the, that's basically all the stats for this set. Um, it's actually pretty decent. You know, $25, four minifigures, two speeders. It's It was a really good price back then. Honestly, this is a great set. Um, it looks really nice. The figures are fantastic. And uh, it, you didn't break the bank going for it. I mean, nowadays, if you wanted to buy this, you definitely. But back then, pretty good deal. Oh, let's look at this little Separatist speeder bike. You don't see a lot of these little Separatist speeders. I don't know if they used many of them in the show. Um... This is cute. It's nice, sleek. There's a lot of stickers on this, though. I think there's one, two, three, four, five. Five stickers on this little guy up by himself. It's cute, you know. It's there. 
main one is this. This also has a lot of stickers. Let me move these out of the way. The <laughs> those commandos do not like to stand up. They are kind of tall. They're taller than the regular droids are. And of course, having those one by two rounded feet, they don't stand up very well. Uh, this speeder with the sidecar is really nice. They've done several of these bark speeders. This is the probably the, the nicest that they've done. Little sidecar has these flick fires there. And a feature that they had in the show is this spins to face behind so you can go pew 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 with your mounted blaster there. And, you know, this is just sort of like a brace to keep it on that bracket right there. To keep it from going too far over. And that's literally it. That's, that's the only play features for the set is this just spins around. But it is very nice to look at. Yeah, so that's literally it. There's nothing else to say about this set. I don't know if there's anything important in the directions here. No. Oh, the old Rancor. I think Jabba's Palace. Oh, yeah. That line had the Old Republic sets in it. So those are those guys. Pong Krell. He's a right bastard. If you If you know what I'm talking about, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, there's nothing special in the instructions, yeah. The one play feature is it spins around and has the missiles. Um, but it's a great set. I'm glad I got this. That Rex alone is so nice. Um, I wish they did the cloth pauldrons and commas more. I do know one of them has the, uh, plastic on the legs and it doesn't sit right i mean literally doesn't sit right but also figuratively it doesn't sit right it doesn't it doesn't have the same feel to it um i'm glad they're bringing the phase two rex back and they're not paywalling it behind the the ucs set the venator which i want to get i do want to get that at some point it's a big big purchase but for now I'll stick with this, and then who knows, maybe in the next two months I'll find the new microfighter at a store somewhere. Uh, it's definitely not going to be on LEGO's website anytime soon. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you like it, like it. If you don't, uh, I, feel, uh, I feel bad for you, son, because this is beautiful. It's great to look at. I don't know what there is to dislike about it, but if you do... Go ahead and let me know. You know, go down in the comments. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you don't like about it. Uh, I will take all the uh, constructive criticism you guys got. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.